The American Health Journal, bringing you the latest information on medicine, psychology, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Major medical advances are made each week, and each week the American Health Journal keeps you up to date. Hello and welcome to the American Health Journal. I'm your host, Roger Cooper. Then, a report from a research scientist working on slowing down the aging process. Every day we're physically aging. We can't stop the clock, but at the Salk Institute Molecular and Cell Biology Laboratory, Dr. Jan Karlsader is making progress in isolating what causes aging. I'm interested in the connection between aging and cancer because it's been well established that the older we get, the higher the chances are that we will suffer from some type of cancer. And I wanted to understand yeah, why that happens. So what I choose to work on is a structure called the telomere. And that is the definition of the end of our chromosomes. So the chromosomes, as you know, carry all the genetic material in, in our cells and they are linear DNA structures. Now the ends of them are very special and that is this so-called telomere. And there is a clear connection between these telomeres, aging and cancer. So what happens is that when we age, when we get older or when cells divide, the telomeres get shorter with every cell division. And that cor correlates very well to aging, of course. So the older we get, the shorter our telomeres or these chromosome ends get. Now, at some point, they become critically short, and then they can't function anymore as a protective cap at the ends of the chromosomes. And usually the cells recognize this, and they respond with either arrest or cell death. And again, that correlates perfectly with aging. So at some point, our cells simply run out of proliferative potential. They can't divide anymore. The normal human cells with a telomere that it gets shorter and shorter, approximately these cells can divide for about 50 times. That does not allow the development of cancer because cancer cells per, per definition are immortal. They can divide forever. And that of course doesn't, doesn't work well with the theory of telomeres. That's at some point you run out of telomeres and then the cells can't divide anymore. So what happens is in cancer cells is that they find a mechanism to elongate these telomeres again to form again a protective cap at the ends of our chromosomes. And most cancers do this by a simple enzyme that recognizes the telomere and sticks telomeric repeats to them and therefore elongates to, uh, these, these chromosome ends. And that is enough to give immortality to a cell. So this is one of the basic principles of cancer development. No cell can become immortal without having functional telomeres. And that's what I was interested in. I wanted to know what happens when the telomeres get shorter and shorter, and that is really an inhibitor of indefinite proliferation to the step when cells become immortal, when the telomeres are long again. So something happens at this transition. We wanted to know what and why. You're just asking a question where the solution takes much longer to find. So if we ask a question of what is the connection between aging and cancer, I can hope that we'll figure out some, some important parts of this within years. So it's not going to be days, it's, it's going to be years. But now and then there are those big breakthroughs where you look at a result and say, oh my God, this, this is really telling me a piece of the puzzle. And then there are many people doing this, so the puzzle gets put together. It's slowly, but it's very satisfying once you get those few big results. It is actually a lot of fun and it is highly motivating to think that, well, if I actually solve this, I can contribute something to human health.